Hey folks, Jiminy Critic here, and I don't know about you, but I'm a little nervous right now. I don't know how you feel about being kept in tight, small, ill-lit places. Kind of like elevators, so to speak. You know, you push that button on the wall, you all stand around and wait together for the elevator to come. Of course, you don't talk, you don't look in each other's eyes. Once you get in the elevator, you know the routine. You step inside, you don't talk to anybody else. You press the button of the one that you want to go, the floor you want to go, or have somebody do it for you. Then you just kind of stand in the elevator looking around, watching the numbers ding by as they either go up or down to the floors where you're going. You can't speak, you can't look because it's that unwritten rule. You don't mess with people inside elevators. Well, this particular movie is pretty creepy. It's a pretty well done story, again, called Devil. And I'm not going to get into much of who the actors are because this movie was done with a lot of unknown B and C rated actors and actresses. And that's almost a good thing because it doesn't take away from the story itself when you're watching a big major star in this production of Devil. Uh, this movie is uh, one of the Night Chronicles, which are a bunch of stories written by M. Night Shyamalan. And this movie is produced by M. Night Shyamalan. And I'm giving him a little credit here because I almost wrote him off after The Last Airbender. I liked a lot of his beginning flicks, his writing and directing and screenplay. And I thought, okay, I'm going to give this guy another chance. And I was well pleased with this movie overall. First thing is, the basic premise is these folks come into a big office building. I think there's five of them total. Uh, and they all end up, I think there's two ladies and three gentlemen. Three, three males, two females, I believe. Yeah, that step into the elevator. All different types, races, different places in life. And once they start on their ascent to the floor they're supposed to go to, of course, the elevator just stops. And of course, that's going to freak anybody out to begin with. And then the movie picks up the pace with the tension. We find out through a series of events that somebody's committed suicide from the building and jumped out of the building. And somebody inside in the security force thinks that the devil is involved with what's going on and all sorts of bad things start happening inside this little elevator with the five people inside. You know, the lights flicker on and off every so often. And sometimes when they go off and come back on, somebody's cut up and bleeding or... Even a couple of times, somebody's dead on the floor. What happened? Who did this? What in the world is happening with these five people in the elevator? And that's where I'm going to leave this up to you. I like the movie Devil. I thought it was suspenseful. It's only about 85 minutes long. It did a good job with its editing, with the storytelling, and of course, being an M. Night Shyamalan story, there's a nice beginning, an arc, and a nice ending to the movie. But I'm going to leave it for yourself if you want to be creeped out by the elevator flick, A Devil. So if you'll excuse me now, i got to get out of here and get off to the where I wanted to go now. Hello? Um, this, this door should be opening up here. Come on. Hello? Anybody? Th oh, come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, your videotapes. Oh, sorry about that. That wasn't good. <laughs> I needed that. Yeah, of course. It cracked into six pieces. <laughs>